Hi guys, I hope you're well. Um, I'm making this uh, short video to answer one of the very frequent questions I've been getting from from you, the readers, with regards to my new book that I'm currently writing uh, called um, Finding True Love. Uh, and the question that I keep getting is probably quite obvious, meaning um, where is this idea of writing a fantasy um, coming from? How did I get the idea of writing uh, a pure fantasy story um, from? And and how did it just even start? Because, as you know, um, I haven't been writing all my life, like so many of uh, you know wonderful writers. They've had a passion of of writing little stories, maybe since childhood, um, maybe noting down some creative ideas and putting them into um, the diaries. I've I've never done it. I, I I've not been this kind of a person. Um, I published uh, my best-selling memoir, which is now a best-selling uh, book um, out there um, in 2018. As you know, I self-published it. I wrote it very quickly, within only just one month, and within three months of editing and proofreading it, it was it was out there for you to read. Um, and I consider that as a miracle in itself because as I say I, I've never ever you know done this before and um, suddenly um, I'm getting this idea that I'm writing about which is a, a pure fantasy story about a prince called Rupert that gets turned into a tree and the whole story evolves around it what is going to happen next um, how is he going to get out of this? Um, how is he going to find out what true love is? Because after all, the title of my of my book of my story is um, finding true love, which is a play on words, as you can probably hear and imagine. It's it's almost like finding true love, but it is actually finding true love. So um, the que the answer to this question is um, is kind of straightforward um, and and not. I mean, it it can sound again very uh, unreal and um, out of this world. However, this is how it happened. As I was writing a Polish girl in pursuit of the English dream, um, my best-selling book, which you have been write, uh, reading for four years now, um, I I used to go for very long walks in Windsor Great Park um, to gather my thoughts, um, to meditate, to be close to nature and as you know Windsor Great Park is full of fantastic, amazing, beautiful trees and many of them are very old oaks, uh, very old trees, uh, more than even 600 years old. They are stunning, they are majestic, they are gorgeous. Um, and also watching the deer, the queen's deer at the distance, the huge herds of deer um, just, you know, strolling through the, the fields, you know, hiding in between those trees and oaks. Uh, it obviously must have had an, an important impact on me. Uh, because just as I was finishing Polish Girl, just before I remember I even published it um, in 2018, um, I suddenly woke up at like five o'clock in the morning and I had this idea of a prince that is turned into an, an oak. And guess what? I, I opened my laptop and I started writing and this is how the first chapter of this new book um, magically appeared and I have no idea where all this came from I had no idea where I got this idea from it just literally like downloaded from up there from the universe, from God, from nature, from your intuition, from your subconscious, whichever way you you can choose to, to believe 
in. I, I say it's an inspiration from God, high power, um, high consciousness, because as I say, I had never ever done this before and such creative ideas had never come to me before. And I partially attribute it also to my spiritual awakening and spiritual enlightenment um, that I have experienced, which I described uh, as you well know, if you read my memoir, Polish Girl, um, right at the end of the story. So I have um, come from this place of, yes, not being able to create anything so incredible and creative in my life, to suddenly getting inspiring ideas because of my trans transformation um, and my spiritual development. So yes, I did write the first chapter. I have no idea where the ideas came from. Um, Rupert, the prince that um, traveled into the forest, um, got this arrow uh, from the king, his father, for his 33rd birthday. And he just wanted to um, try it out and, and see how far it's going to go. So, um, the, in short, the story is, he fires the arrow uh, into a tree, um, just to test it out, but unfortunately, um, a massive, gigantic deer stands right in front of it, uh, just as he has done it. So it's too late for him to, to stop the arrow, and it's almost too late to do anything to rescue the poor deer. So he kills that deer and it's not because of the intention of killing the deer, it's because it was an accident, it just happened. But as a punishment uh, for doing that, um, because in the kingdom of, you know, wonderland, um, forestry and everything else, it's definitely forbidden to kill the deer. He's going to be turned into a tree and stay in that forest forever um, as a punishment. Uh, and this is how the first chapter starts. This is how the story slowly evolves with this tragic moment of turning wonderful, handsome Prince Rupert into an old oak. Even though, as he later finds out, he's not really old for an oak because oaks can live for hundreds of years and he's only going to be like just over a hundred years old. So he's going to be pretty, pretty young oak. Uh, so uh, yeah, so this is how it all started. So as you, as you know, I published my mem memoir, Polish Girl, in 2018. So it's been a few years now and I haven't been able because of many personal issues and problems and a lot of stresses in my life to to continue um, regularly to add into my story. I have been writing uh, additional chapters and, and creating the story on and off just as I had a time to relax, to get some creativity inside of me and put it all down. So it has been an on and off process, completely different to writing Polish Girl, which I literally download it within a month, um, but it was also a different type of a, of, a, of, a, of writing because, you know, when, when I wrote about my life and things that happened in my life, I already knew what happened. All I had to do was to, um, to write it down, which was one of the most difficult processes of my life. It was definitely um, cathartic and and cleansing for my, my soul and my body. It healed me. Uh, writing my memoir healed me because I went through all the emotions that I had trapped in me in order to put them down on paper and and share my true story with every single one of you. So the process of writing this fantasy, this uh, magical, crazy story is totally different because I have to imagine things before I am able to write them all down. So I don't know if you've ever tried writing a book 
about something that doesn't exist. It hasn't happened. It's not your past. It's not the true story. But it's something that you're creating. How difficult is it to um, to even start? Where do you start and what happens next? If you've ever tried, I'm sure you appreciate the process. If you haven't, I encourage you to try to, to see how difficult it is, whether you can actually write about something that ha hasn't happened in real life. It's not real. It's it's a complete fantasy world. Um, so it's, it's definitely something I... I can encourage you to do and I can honestly say it's not easy it's definitely not easy it's challenging it's it's also emotionally draining at times especially because it's going to be a very deep story it's going to be a book mainly for for adults or young adults or teenagers even though it's a story about a prince in a tree and there's going to be talking walking animals and magic and fairy tale like creatures and and story around it i i don't think it's going to be for small children simply because of the the storyline and the message of of love of of finding true love of you know um having very very deep reflections also on spirituality of you know of what life is of what love is and what's truly important on our journey as human beings so it's definitely going to have a very deep uh, spiritual message and meaning to it also some scenes may seem a little bit naughty for some of you but it's not going to be too bad however there's definitely going to be love and romance obviously it has to be it's about finding true love or tree love um even though one of the main characters is a tree and the other one is actually a woman a girl called amara um so yes yeah, so i hope it uh, shortly explains um where the idea of writing this book came from and all i can say i'm going to um hopefully uh, do some more updates for you uh, and tell you more about the story um, as it unfolds and hopefully answer some more of your questions. Right, so I wish you a wonderful day or evening wherever you are and I shall speak to you soon. Lots of love. Bye.